Hello, my name is Brian Munoz, and thank you so much to Principal Doherty for having me come and speak to you guys. I know I would have liked to speak to you guys in person, but because of COVID-19, things are a little different. Uh, you may be going to school now online a little bit, but I figured I would just tell you a little bit about my job. I am a photojournalist, or basically I'm a photographer that takes pictures of news and sports and different things for the newspaper, like some of you may have delivered at your home, or sometimes websites, or you see things on Facebook, or just really wherever you see pictures of events and things going on. I graduated from Collinsville High School in 2015. Uh, after high school, I went to college at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, Illinois, which is about two hours away from uh, Collinsville. And I actually went to Kreitner Elementary. I had a bunch of really great teachers and I learned a lot about different things like math and reading and science. And you guys are very lucky to be at Kreitner and have some really awesome teachers. So I'll just go ahead and show you some pictures and I'll talk a little bit about what they are and just a little bit about the work that I do. So in my job, I can go and take pictures of really cool things and people. In this picture, I had actually flown all the way to Nicaragua in Central America uh, to work with a nonprofit organization doing mission work there. And this was just some of the children that were playing. I asked if I could take their picture and they had agreed. So this was one of my favorite moments from that trip. And then going through school, I joined the band in fifth grade and I played trombone. And after graduating, I came back and was able to document the marching band and take pictures. And this was during their band camp. And then this picture was during the Thanksgiving Day Parade in 2016. And it was very, very cold. So everyone was trying to huddle up and stay warm. And this was a concert that I took pictures of uh, when I worked in Arizona. So I have worked in Carbondale, also in St. Louis, and in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so uh, this was a rock concert, and this guy was crowd surfing, and there's somebody else in the background that was also crowd surfing. Nothing that I would ever do because I'm too much of a chicken to do it, but they were having the time of their lives doing so. And sometimes there are other things like fires that I cover. So this was from a fire. There's a firefighter putting out a fire at a grocery store in Phoenix. And I also cover a lot of sports. I don't know how many of you guys play sports like soccer or like baseball or anything along those lines, basketball. Um, but this was a football player that was relaxing before he went out to play. I've gotten to cover the Cardinals and also the St. Louis Blues Stanley Cup run a couple years ago uh, was awesome. Being from St. Louis, I'm a big blues fan and a big hockey fan. So I was able to cover the celebration around um, them winning the Stanley Cup. In this picture, there was a dad the day after they were going to buy some stuff at the team store and he was just throwing his daughter up in the air and I was able to capture that. And some fans at the parade and Pat Maroon here had taken a baby from the crowd and had put her in the Stanley Cup to get a picture, but I don't think the baby really liked it. She was not too happy here. But I also take pictures of pretty things aside from news and sports and people. You know, I also really enjoy doing this. This is a monarch butterfly uh, getting some pollen. The same kind of thing, but with a bee during the spring is a bird looking for some seeds you don't need to go somewhere fancy to take pictures you can take pictures with whatever camera you have that's a disposable camera that's your parents phone whatever it may be you know i always tell people uh to start taking pictures and just get a lot of practice because if you want to you can make a career out of it and you know, you can get paid to do what you love, which is where I am, very fortunately. Well, thank you again uh, to Principal Doherty for having me and for letting me talk to you guys a little bit about what I do and just showing you some pictures.